Hey, welcome to the first part of a video series in which you will learn how to use Firebase Authentication SDK in order to make your users access to your JavaScript applications through different ways like using their emails and passwords, their phone numbers or simply using their social media accounts. It's beneficial for both users and developers as it takes just a couple of clicks for a user to authenticate using their social media accounts. Thus, it makes it an easier task to achieve and most importantly, it's a time saver which is the same benefit for developers since they don't have to spend a lot of time implementing such a feature from scratch. And let's face it, it's more effective and secure when you know it's created by a team of very high skilled developers such as the Google Firebase engineers team. So, let's start by heading to the Firebase website and create a project. Add project, give it a name, choose your country and then hit create project. The button should be activated for you, but it is not in my case because I have already reached the limit of projects number for my free plan. Now we need to create a web app, name it and then make sure to fill the checkbox since we are going to host the app once we finish it. Hit the register app button, next, next, continue to console and we should be good to go. Once that done, create a folder that will be containing the app locally. Start a new terminal and then type npm i g firebase tools to install Firebase globally in your computer. Now we need to type Firebase init hosting in order to initialize and link the app we have created on the website to our local project folder. You can see that after the execution of the command, Firebase has generated some default files automatically for us. The public folder is where we will deposit all of our HTML, CSS, the images and JavaScript files. Now it's time to create the different interfaces. I speed that up for the sake of the video duration.
ok now this should be our basic setup for the app I'll upload the project files on github so check the description for the link one last thing once you download the project files make sure to run the firebase use command to link the local project files to the one you have created on the online console This is it for this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification and see you in the next video.